Hi, we're So Awkward. I'm Brooke. And I'm Rachel. Welcome to our November episode, which we are entitling Leftovers. We all love leftovers. And all those pieces of fabric left yeah. over from projects. So this time we're going to be making, we're going to be doing a bunch of things today, hopefully, if we have time. We're going to be doing um, quilt square pillows, crumb quilt pillows, and then we might make some mug rugs, which are coasters for mugs, bookmarks, which is really cool, and cat toys. With fresh catnip from Brooks Garden. From this morning, cooked. <laughs> anyway, let's get sewing, because we have a lot to yeah, do. Yeah, let's get sewing. And now, a little story time with Brooke. Welcome, everybody. It's time for our scrap story. Once upon a time, Brooke made a quilt, but had too many pieces. She didn't want to throw the pieces away because she felt bad for the pieces that they would be lonely in the trash. So, she kept them! Woo! Yay for extra scraps! Not only did Brooke save pieces, but so did Rachel. Yay! <laughs> And they all ended in a happy pillow. So one of my scrap pieces that I'm going to be working with today was given to me by my stepmother. And she didn't, I don't know if she knew this, but there's this whole piece in here that's just together. So I'm going to sew it together and turn it into a pillow for her and give it to her next time I see her. So maybe she'll remember it. We'll see. I'll give it to her and she'll be like, um, thanks. And I'll be like, you made it. <laughs> Just okay, so you want to start a crumb quilt with all your little bits of fabric and you don't know how to make this, which it does look pretty intricate, but I promise it's so easy. All you take is two pieces of fabric and you sew them together, right sides together. Then you open it up and you honestly, you don't have to do any matching. You can just you sew two pieces together again, and then you sew them together. The only thing that matters, and the only thing you need to pay attention to, is um, making sure you have one straight edge to sew together. And that's the only thing that matters. So I have a larger piece here with many already sewn together, and then so you see this, then you have two straight edges and you stick them to each other like that. And you just sew. So see, look, now I've already got a really cool piece of fabric that then I can attach to this and then I can attach these to bigger pieces and then you have a really fun kaleidoscopy type quilt. Yeah. Your glasses steam up when you iron. Look, where are you? So this is my little squares, uh, fabric squares quilt. These are leftover pieces from a quilt that I worked on seven years ago. You still have it? I have it. And so I've created this little piece here with these squares and now, but it's not big enough for pillows. So I'm having to add a border of little squares. It's that time of the month for a monthly tip. Just the tip. Today we've been making pillows and to make them really easy to get the pillow out of your pillowcase, we made an envelope closure and I'm going to teach you how to do it. So you get your crumb fabric piece and measure it out to the size of your pillow. My pillow was 14 by 14. And then you take your back fabric and you add six inches. So you want a 14 by 20 piece and you cut it in half. Then on one long edge of each of your back pieces, you hem it. So it has a nice crisp edge. And then you put them right sides together on top of your fabric and you line up the edges and you clip around. You put your clips on there and then you take it to your sewing machine. You sew once all the way around, clip your corners, turn it inside out, and you have a fun pillow. So I'm making a combination of bookmark and cat toy out of the same fabric. So the bookmark is just thin, 
Normally I probably would have added interfacing to make it a little thicker, but it will still work as a bookmark. And this, I liked it so much, so I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna stuff it and turn it into a cat toy. And that will be this one. Hopefully they don't get the two confused. <laughs> Math. Sometimes you need help in writing it down. We're trying to make a pillow and trying to figure out the math on the borders. It'll work out. It's just a pillow. Since this episode is about leftovers, I thought we would give a shout out to this book by Tula Pink called 100 Modern Quilt Blocks. And I joined a sew along where I made all these different blocks using only scrap fabrics from my local quilt shop. They were selling little bits of fabric by the ounce and so I bought a whole bunch of little scraps and I didn't know what to make. So I made all these fun quilts and I showed the book to Brooke and she wanted to make a quilt. Hers is not exactly scrap fabric because it's more planned out than what I was doing, but look at how beautiful hers turned out. She did so many, she did a whole rainbow of fabrics and we went to the quilt shop to um, purchase it and that was really funny. We had a whole shopping cart full. We had two shopping carts oh, full. Oh, two shopping carts, that's right. Yeah. This one's my favorite with the mermaid fabric. It's really fun to do. Yeah, you have really your little is. scraps, and then you can fussy cut yep. your pieces where you center. There's like a little mouse here. That's you, Tula's fabric. Where you center a certain design to make it the focus. Yeah, so that's a great way to use scraps. And look, I can make a quilt with the mouth that I have. This month's plant of the month is called hibiscus. People are gonna know hibiscus. You go to Hawaii, they grow like hot cakes, if that's such a thing. They're everywhere and they have the big blossoms on them. And it's not blooming right now, although this one's probably going to bloom soon. Now, the thing about hibiscus is that it's a tropical and it needs to live out, it likes to live outdoors here during the mid spring through summer, but about, you know, a little bit through fall when we start getting a bit cold into the forties at night. It's a good idea to start bringing this inside to, to get it acclimated to bringing it indoors and then leaving it inside through the whole winter. Now, last year when I had it inside, it bloomed through November into December and I kept telling it to stop blooming, keep your power. And Another thing is when I bring it inside before I brought it in, I gave it a good spray of neem oil because it's going to have some bugs, probably some aphids on it, and it would help to spray it so that you don't bring your aphids inside. But it's a really fun plant, especially with the flowers because they're just gorgeous. And this one's like a coral color. So it's very awesome. Check it out. We are finished for the day. Yes, we've been sewing all day long <laughs> with our leftovers. Yes, but it takes a long time and a lot of thread to make these crumb fabrics so you know but it looks adorable it looks it's so awesome. fun and exciting i can't imagine like a huge blanket made out of this a quilt yeah with our envelope backs so it's easy to pull out and wash placemats yep and then i also made this mug rug for with my um crumbs and you put like your coffee cup on here maybe a little cookie i might have made it a little bit too small but that, this was just a practice and i wasn't even using a pattern so I think it turned out pretty cute. And then of course your Oh pillow. yes, I did a pillow from Tula Pink's Squares from that book that I showed earlier. And it was just, I just put a little bit of white in between each one and a solid backing. And yeah, the white helps bounce yeah. off those squares. That was Brooke's idea. And then I have these, this, these squares that I turned into a pillow that was left over from a quilt that I made a couple years ago. Um, and then a solid blue backing and I have two of these and since you still have the quilt it'll match really well it'll match my quilt and then this is what I finished earlier for, for, for my stepmother that I'll be giving to her in surprise hopefully she doesn't watch this before I give it to her surprise <laughs> and then of course I made um, some leftover fabric from pillows that I made before I made a bookmark and a cat toy so we're gonna be trying out and seeing how they like this yeah anyway we hope we gave you some ideas on how to use your scrap fabrics yeah, and, and if you, know, you make anything, you know, post some pictures. I'd love to see what you make. So don't forget, subscribe to us on Facebook and YouTube and follow us on Instagram. And until next time, don't forget to be so, so awkward. awkward.